Hey there, we are Acadian Adventures, a cruising channel trying to begin our trip around the world for the past three years. We've hit a few roadblocks along the way, including a Cat 5 hurricane and now a global pandemic. But we don't give up. With borders closed and the boat finally ready to go, for this season, we're doing the next best thing, cruising the U.S. East Coast. Support videos you enjoy by clicking the like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing. So today's October 8th and it is Friday. So we have been anchored up here in St. Michael's for the last, I don't know, two days, two nights, three nights. And uh, so we're gonna travel from here back down to the Solomons because the Solomons is like one of the most protected anchorages we have been in, in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, it is just perfect. So anyway, so we have about 50 miles to go today, 50 miles to travel. Uh, not a problem, we can do that easily in a day. So. We travel, we motor at like six and a half knots. So we'll, we'll do it in less than 10 hours. First things first, I need to do an engine check. We're having a weird anomaly with the engine oil level on this engine. I changed the oil a week ago, two weeks ago. When I changed it, I had six freaking quarts of oil. And again, it's high. I need to take about a quart out of it. I'll do that later. It's not too bad. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Pretty big tear in it. You see that? So I got some a sail repair to do. Not happy about that. We're still using her, but we got her got a reef down because the tear is below the below the reef point. So you can see there we've got the reef in. doing damn near five knots over ground. Can't okay. complain about that, dude. You'd be there, what, about three hours? Yeah, a few hours. Maybe maybe quicker than that. Yesterday, while raising our mainsail, we had a uh, had an accident. And we sustained some damage to the luff of the main. But uh, luckily, it's at the very bottom of the sail. If I can't fix it, worst case scenario, I have to always have at least one reef in the main if we can't fix it. I'm pretty sure I can fix it. I'm gonna try it today. I clamped the vice grip to the track holding the rest of the cars up. The piece of wood on each side not to damage the track. And uh, that'll give me access to the bottom section of the sail so I can do the repair. So yeah, let's get to it. We're gonna fix this thing. So I'm uh, making some progress here. So I'm working on this stitch here. I'm go all the way down. Then after that stitch is done, then I've got to go through and put some material back in here and sew that back together. And then yeah, we'll have a repaired tail. So yeah, not so bad. Uh, I still sewed this back, this section back together. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I've got to do something about this tear right here make that stronger again this section right here so I'll probably put another piece on here and sew it sew it in as well so here is the final sail repair that Jared did I think it's pretty good we're gonna eventually have to get a new one but that's not in the budget at the moment so I'm just gonna have to kind of be careful with this one I might try to take it to a sail repair place and get some money to professionally do it but I don't know. We'll see. It's 
Yep. So no solar power today, but uh, that's okay because the generator worked. So it's making some weird noise right now. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna open her up to see what's going on. All right, so uh, batteries are all charged up. We have plenty of power. We're gonna make some bread. We've already preloaded it with our bread dough mixture and we're making pizza dough today. So what kind of pizza are we making? Um, all we have is pepperoni. Okay, we have jalapenos. No, ah. Oh. Onion. Okay. Pepperoni, onion. We have mozzarella sauce. Mozzarella sauce. Not mozzarella, uh, marinara sauce. Yeah, we have like the cheese and the. Yeah, and we have mozza mozzarella. Okay. But as far as toppings, all we have is pepperoni and onion. Ugh. Oh. We gotta have something else. We, oh, we have bell peppers? Bell okay, peppers. yeah. Bell peppers, onions, and pepperonis. Yeah, yeah that sounds. that sounds pretty good. I think we just found another problem. If you look at this dude, look how full it is. That is six or seven quarts of, of fluid that for the second time I've pulled out of the oil pan of our engine. Not good, not good. That's what it is. So what we're gonna do is, I think, it sounds like we're not gonna travel any further with the engine in the state that it's in. We're in a good spot. There are a bunch of marinas here. And I think we would book it for a month. Go into the slip this week. We'll get this issue fixed. Uh, we do have to go back to Louisiana, so it's a good spot to leave the boat. We're going to try and make it to Beaufort, North Carolina, but I'm not pushing it with this problem. There's no way. That's crazy, huh? Look at that. Sheesh. I think I'm just going to go pour this back in the, in the diesel tank. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. I mean, it's, it's almost pure flipping diesel, dude. It's crazy. That sucks. So I've been uh, I've been digging into this uh, this issue we had with all this diesel fuel inside of our uh, inside of our engine oil, and I think I might have found the culprit, or at least part of the culprit. Let's hope this is the main culprit or the culprit. But here we go. Here's one of the injectors. Injectors are all have a whole bunch of uh, soot built up on them. They all cluttered up, and that is from us. Uh, excessively idling our boat for two reasons uh, to keep our battery banks charged on days like today if you look outside it's just nice and gray out there yeah so no no sun at all uh, so we can't we can't charge batteries with our solar panels our diesel generator has been on the fritz for quite a while we're just now starting to revive it to where we can use it properly uh, so we've been using the using our diesel a main engine to charge our batteries but we've been letting the engine idle just sit there and idle for hours and hours and hours which is a bad thing for a diesel engine it never truly gets up to operating temperature which means the fuel in the cylinder does, doesn't burn off completely uh, and then when that happens a bunch of excess soot and fuel leaks past the uh, the piston ring into the crank and then into the oil pan uh, and your injectors get fouled up because they never get up to operating temperature. So yeah, that's uh, that's the problem. I think we just might have found it.
All right, so there it is. Uh, just cleaned all the injectors. They were all really, really dirty. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run her up, wide ass open for a good long time, get her, get her nice and hot and up to temperature. Try to burn out any other soot that's in the engine. Yeah, and hopefully that gets rid of the problem. It's a very common issue on these on these old motors, especially if you have dirty injectors and you run the engines at low temperatures, which we have been doing. that engine up to temperature really up to temperature and burn all that crap out of it she ain't nothing wrong with the engine she runs man she's pushing hard i believe we got every bit of 50 horsepower out of that thing right now all right we're gonna do this for about 20 minutes